Team Red users, rejoice, smile and be happy AMD fans. Hello again, I am Blunty and you know how the not quite native game recording feature that came with AMD's Raptor software in the form of a third party app called Plays TV and how much it sucked? Well now, AMD have not only caught up with NVIDIA's excellent built-in recording and streaming functions in GeForce Experience, but AMD have gone ahead and actually done it better. It's called Relive and it generally matches the functionality of the GeForce Experience recording and streaming in most ways. It has a nice clean overlay you can bring up with a hotkey at any point so you never have to leave your game to fiddle with some of the basic settings. Although Nvidia have a much wider range of settings to adjust from their in-game overlay. Hopefully AMD will catch up on that score real quickly. It has record on demand of course and looping instant replay functions so you're always recording the last few minutes or however long you set it of gameplay or something cool happens you can hit hot key it automatically records it so you don't have to record your entire game session on the off chance you do something awesome you can finally at last record the desktop easily now with amd cards too you have complete control and choice over which webcam or video device it pulls in from and what microphone to use or if you want to use the mic or webcam at all of course it has various recording quality profiles so you can balance how clean the recording is versus how much disk space it chomps up. You can choose to limit the recordings to 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. You can manually select a recording bitrate for yourself all the way up to 50 megabits per second and you can choose your audio bitrate properly too. There's built-in streaming options for Twitch and YouTube that, while not nearly as powerful or flexible as streaming with an app like OBS or XSplit, it does at least make it super duper easy for newbies or people who just want a no-fuss, no-frills stream of their gameplay to make that happen. And here again in the streaming options, you've got control over resolution and frame rate and bit rate and audio bit rate. And in both streaming and recording, it surpasses NVIDIA's own options in a couple of quite vital ways. Vehicle here. Truck! Lost control. Lost control. Uh, <laughs> now, like NVIDIA, AMD now will support, as you can see, a basic overlay functionality so you can pop up a little bit of branding or some graphics or links to your social media or your Twitter or Twitch and whatever you're doing. Did I say social media and Twitter? Twitter is social media. Anyway, you get my point. You can also put a little nice little frame around your webcam. And of course, you can put the webcam anywhere you like. Um, the overlay I made to test this functionality, I, I put it down in the bottom corner, which for this particular game isn't smart because I'm covering up the, uh, the readouts of the speedo and the gears and things like that. So if I was <laughs> going to record or stream this game, I'd redo my overlay. But for the purposes of demonstrating the feature, this will work first fine. <laughs> But the best thing about the AMD system is you can put the web camera wherever you like. You have complete control, pixel perfect control over its position. In fact, you would not square in the middle of the screen if you really wanted to. So you can, for each different game, figure out the exact perfect placement for the web camera so you're not covering up anything important in the game. Um, and then, you know, make your overlay to match that if you want to use an overlay. That is something NVIDIA can't do. NVIDIA can whack it in any of the corners. But beyond that, you're boned, and NVIDIA can't also control the exact size of the web camera, so you're boned there as well. Oh, now, 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 Susan. It's a 25 litre bottle. Oh, sorry, that seems expensive. I'll just, I'll just pull over here. Shall I exchange uh, insurance? No, actually, I'll, I'll just hide in someone's driveway. And just to demonstrate that fact, I have now turned off the overlay and moved my web camera into a more appropriate spot for this particular game, so it's not actually covering up anything important. Uh, I can also see the web camera myself so I can see what you see by the webcam so I can tell whether I'm on screen or not or whether I've sort of accidentally moved over here which is a handy thing to do and I don't know whether they fixed that recently but last time I tried it with NVIDIA NVIDIA doesn't show you your own web camera it'll show up in the recording but not not on your screen so you can't actually see if you're on screen with the web camera <laughs> oh that's 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 oh, oh I've ruined my, I've ruined my pretty car it's all crinkly <laughs> My crinkly car! No! Me, crinkly car coming through. Thank you. <laughs> One more thing worth noting that AMD is absolutely nailed is while I'm recording, just stop, stop, stop. While I'm recording, I have control over the web camera and microphone directly via hot uh, hotkeys. So if I hit my little hotkey for my camera, I can move myself around on screen. So if at any time I'm covering up an important piece of, 
iconography on the screen or a menu or something that I want to show the viewers. I can move the camera around or I can just turn the camera off at the touch of a button as well. Or I can turn it back on again at the touch of a button all seamlessly while I'm recording. That's brilliant. Now, something to keep in mind when you are recording this way is you will have to go into your game settings and make sure your master volume for your uh, game is turned down because there are no uh, audio controls in the, the in AMD's actual thing. So what I had to do to make sure you could hear me over the game is go into my audio here and we've got it turned down to two for this particular game, which seems to be working all right. If I turn it back up to sort of normal level where you would have it, uh, and then go back into the game, you're going to have an awful time trying to hear me. That is the only thing to keep in mind. There's no audio loader control in the recording. So you have to remember to do that in game. Otherwise, you're going to have to game recordings that are not very useful. A positional overlay in any corner I like it shows me if I'm recording or not, it shows me if I'm in uh, replay mode or not, it shows me if the microphone is muted or not. And of course, I can see my own web camera up on the screen, so I don't need an indication for that. It also tells me how long I've been recording for, which, uh, again, the NVIDIA system doesn't do. It doesn't give you any indication of how long you're recording for, but AMD sure do. Like, for example, this particular clip, although you haven't seen all of it because I've edited out some bits, has been going for 2 minutes and 32 seconds right now. That's really handy to know. Super handy to know uh, for certain types of recordings you might be doing, or if you're doing a Let's Play, and you want each Let's Play to go for 20 minutes, half an hour, whatever it is. You don't have to have a separate timer or keep an eye out. You just glance down and go, okay, looks like we're heading into the 25 minute mark of this Let's Play. We better wrap up for the day and I'll see you next episode. Blah, 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 blah. It is so good to have AMD sort of not only catching up to NVIDIA, but exceeding what NVIDIA has managed to accomplish. And by the way, a lot of these features I'm talking about are things that people have been asking NVIDIA for, excuse me, sorry, have been asking NVIDIA for since the very first betas of the GeForce experience. Um, they said, oh, can we, can we please have full positional uh, control over the camera? Can manually size it? Can, you know, we do this? Can we do that? Right, it's not a coincidence that AMD are giving people the features they want and have been asking for from NVIDIA, but NVIDIA have been ignoring them or just unable or, or, or just too incompetent to uh, facilitate AMD have just gone well people want this we should we should try and try and try and put this into our software before we launch that way they don't have to ask us for it it's it's already there so nice work AMD have done a superb job at not only catching up but passing the functionality of Nvidia's GeForce experience which I'm a big fan of as many of you guys already know now, yes, let's be honest. Much of what AMD have done here is a pretty shameless ripoff. And some of it, in fact, is a direct copy. And I'm sure more than a few fanboys in forums will piss and whine about how AMD is stealing from NVIDIA. But I'm here to tell you to STFU. Because who cares? I mean, what are you, on NVIDIA's payroll? Nothing about this is bad for the end user on either system. That'd be you, by the way. You are the end user. AMD users now get a much better experience for properly native gameplay recording. NVIDIA gets another layer of proper competition. So now they have to work even harder to get shiz right and give people what they've been asking for. And consumers get better products faster with more choices. Frankly, I'm overjoyed about AMD's new recording options. If nothing else, it makes my job of recording gameplay for GPU reviews so much easier than it used to be for AMD cards. Anyway, just wanted to make a quick little video to bounce across the top of this, just in case the news has passed you by. It has only been released today, so I wanted to get the word out. So if you do run an AMD video card, immediately rush out and download the AMD Radeon Relive uh, suite of software and drivers and whatnot. Update your stuff right now. You will be much happier than you were with Please TV and that god-awful garbage pile of crap. So well done and congratulations AMD team. It took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but you got there in the end, that's all that matters. I'm just, by the way, on a related note, if you're not subscribed and whatnot already, you might want to do that sort of stuff. If you are interested in AMD cards, because I am reviewing an AMD card right now, and is in fact nicely timed with the arrival of the new Radeon Relive software. So keep your eyes open for that happening quite soon. Thanks for watching, I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.